part. And it's just about, I'll read it. <laughs> Love does not hurt, but the heart does hurt when we try to toss from it someone that we still love. Mm. The irony is that oftentimes it is not even necessary to remove people we love from our hearts. More often, it is a matter of learning to love someone differently than we had originally envisioned. The heart has many rooms, so when our hearts ache, it just may be that we are trying to smash a big fixture in our lives and sweep it away with the broom when it simply needs to be moved gently into a different room. And while there will be pain and strain as our relationships move themselves from one room in the heart to another, it is important to recognize which room will benefit the relationship most in helping it to stay alive. Some relationships may need to move from the dining room of your heart to the kitchen. Because in the kitchen, you can add some new ingredients, making some adjustments to the fire to allow the relationship to simmer before you summon the desire to serve it as something nurturing to both souls. Sometimes a relationship will need to move from the bedroom in your heart to the living room, from a place of naked vulnerability and heated intimacy to a warm place of simple comfort and casual joy. Oh, Jesus, wait that one now. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> occasionally needs to move from the private rooms of your heart to a screen porch. <laughs> a place to go here and here, but a place also where the relationship can breathe into the air. You can relax there and grow, benefiting from observations that come as life from other people you know, those who love you and who want to see your relationship continue to grow. So when people are important in your life, and your feelings toward each other shift, think twice before you completely throw away a loving relationship. The two of you may just need to reevaluate your dynamics to create a new way of staying connected, a new place where you can start by helping each other to rearrange rooms in the homes of both hearts. There's a room in your heart for every person that you love. The key is to offer a key to the right room and to honor those new boundaries. Bless <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so I, love, I, have a, I love that one. You know. What is that? Yeah. All right, so that one was lesson 65. 65. <laughs> All right, any other thoughts on that one? And then I have a couple and then I'll wrap. Everybody good? So good?